Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm not uh, doing any chemistry or anything like that, any math or physics or anything, but uh, you know, I need to make some physics videos and I need to make some uh, math videos. Just haven't done it, I've been working on just chemistry videos and uh, that's pretty much about it. But uh, I'm revisiting the TI-83 uh, calculator. Uh, I use the VTI-83 Plus uh, calculator. I should just say the TI-83 Plus. Um, the version that I like the best is the VTI, uh, but I'm making this video because I want to show you some of the programs that are very helpful on the TI-83 Plus. Now I know the newer calculators like the 89 and the Inspire and the 92, you know, they do uh, a lot of these things built in and stuff, but the TI-83 doesn't, so uh, some of us who use uh, simple calculators uh, can find this software very handy so I just want to show you this. Uh, these are the ones that I have found the most helpful through the years and what I've done is I've saved them to a small file, a zip file, so you can actually use them um, on your uh, calculators. Uh, those of you that want to use the software to upload it to an 83 or an 84 and whatnot. So let me show you those. Uh, here's my VTI. Um, I, I run Linux so uh, it's a little bit uh, different if you're not familiar with Linux and stuff, but here's my TI-83 uh, Plus that I run, and here are the program packets that I like. Uh, Area Finder is a, is a great program. Um, you can execute it by pressing enter. It does all the following 2D areas and uh, and everything like that. And I'm not the creator of this one, so but there it is. Uh, you can go through here and you can run these programs and I mean the guy done really really well on this program so just letting you know I like it a lot <laughs> alright anyway uh, we'll go back to our uh, program list and uh, we can exit from this one and, and visit some more uh, another one that I like is for cubes cylinders distance formula midpoint formula uh, I believe I wrote the uh, the midpoint formula on this one. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So it's actually uh, mine and everything. So I'm sorry it's not impressive, but hey, it worked back when I was in college. So I made sure to keep it. And these are the the points. So anyway, there's that. And um, let's see. Let's look at another program. Uh, there is a pre-algebra. Uh, uh, program on here that I really really liked a lot so I made sure to save it throughout the years and uh, it is loaded I'll tell you this it is okay equation solver graphing and everything like that you go to the second menu you can look at the other options area lateral area surface area volume menu 3 uh, perimeter triangle forms circle forms uh, some people might like the triangle forms and stuff Pythagorean side angle and back and things like that. So anyway, there's that. Uh, another program that I like is Primes. Now this is a great uh, program. I find myself using it quite a bit from time to time. So like, say like the number 53, just type it in and it runs through there. It tells you if it's prime or not and everything. So I like it. I say no, I don't want to test another. Uh, another program. Uh, is quadrat oh I love this one this is just awesome this is this program has helped me so much as a teacher and so much as as a student and stuff if I just want to hurry up and get an answer and stuff and everything so anyway I mean it, it, it's really good but check this out it will it will solve it for you it'll even put it into uh, you know the uh, the solution form that you need it in. It will even calculate for imaginary numbers. Check this out. I'll choose something crazy again and you know that way we can get it to give an imaginary answer. Okay, look at this. Now it does, uh, hold on, I thought it would give me an imaginary answer on that one. Uh, let me try to think of something that it might, might work on it. Anyway, um, the radical program that's a good program let me show you it real quick um, the radical program you can just type in say you have the square root of 78 you type in 78 there and the square root of 78 is just the square root of 78 it's not going to simplify 
uh, but you can you can test it for another one and you can type in say maybe 56 and it'll take the square root of 56 and if it can be simplified it'll simplify it for you great program that this guy wrote for the 83 um, now I wrote uh, this slope program if you just need to find the slope of, of two points it'll give you it if you need to find um, the slope in one point I li you know I like this one check this out you know like I said my programs are pretty simple if you know the slope you type in the slope say the slope is five and say the point they give you is four comma one you just type in four and one and it will give you the y equals mx plus b form it may not give it to you the exact form you want to see it in but check this out I wrote up here y equals mx plus b for your m is five and your b is negative nineteen so that's actually pretty handy to have and I even done that for uh, two points okay so I like can say you have the points 2, negative 8, 4, and say negative 7. And the y equals mx plus b form would be uh, 1 half. You'd put a 1 half in where the m is. And for the b, you'd put a negative 9 in. So anyway, I mean, I, I think I did really well on those. I mean, this things that you would use a lot. And... Um, also, uh, the vertex. I know the vertex is kind of easy. It's just, you know, negative b over 2a and whatnot, and you just plug in that back into the original, but it's there and stuff. And then there's a, a volume. I don't remember this volume program, but there it is. It does all of those. Very handy program. Tons. But anyway, what I figured I would do is I would put all these into uh, one file for you to download so you can. Uh, use the VTI, uh, well not just the VTI, but use uh, use it on your VTI calculator if you wanted to, your virtual TI, or if you wanted to transfer these to your personal calculator and whatnot. But uh, anyway, I'll show you where uh, you can download these at, all the ones that I have, which like I said, these are the ones I use day in and day out a lot. So anyway, uh, you can go to the file, you can go to www.whitwellhigh.com forward slash uh, and then this type in TI 83 programs dot zip and you can download them just like that anyway uh, as you can see I've, I've downloaded these and what I've done is I've put them into a, uh, a small folder and uh, in that small folder uh, you can see I have TI-83 programs written there and you can just drag and drop them to your desk and put them into the uh, uh, the, uh, the TI-84 calculator software that uh, Texas Instrument can give you or whatnot but anyway I've got all the programs loaded in here so all you would need to be able to do is just transfer them in and, and here they are so anyway these are my favorite programs and I thought I'd share the ones that I truly find the most helpful and here they are so anyway um, if you want them go back and visit again and uh, if you want to know the, the website URL again I'll type it up here so you can see it www.whittlehide.com whoops if I can spell uh, forward slash uh, TI uh, 83 Programs. Dot zip. Ti eighty three programs. Dot zip. So there you go. And I don't have the link on my website at all because uh, I, I don't want a lot of people just downloading it all all the time and stuff. I really I didn't want all my students having them either. So, but you know I wanted to make sure they had access to them for like ACTs and things like that. So anyway, um, go there to this website and download away and be happy with it. Alright guys, I hope that this was helpful and I really hope that you get to uh, enjoy these programs like I have throughout the year and uh, you know just let me know if uh, you're having troubles getting getting the uh, answers or getting the programs to work for you and uh, I'll try my best to help you out. Alright guys, have a good one. Oh and ladies.